Hey, Eli here. Today I got a really quick video for you. Um, I want to talk about the Fringer EF GFX Pro adapter. And so it allows you to take EF lenses, uh, Canon uh, SLR lenses, put them on the GFX system. Uh, I've been testing it with the GFX 100S for the last couple months. Uh, I've produced a bunch of videos, you know, how or, you know how each lens works with this camera, but I want to talk about just the adapter. Um, this is something that I've been wanting to try for a long time. Uh, it wasn't cheap. It's like 500 bucks, which, you know, may be cheap to you, may not be cheap to you, uh, depending on who you are and what you do. But, uh, but yeah, so I bought it and, um, I've adapted several lenses and I found it to be really, really, uh, amazing. You know, it's, it's such a cool way to get lower aperture, uh, lenses on the medium format system and really make this medium format system shine. I love the colors out of this camera and the film simulations, uh, applied with my presets. I think it was really pretty. Dynamic range is amazing. The resolution's more than I need, but it's really fun. And uh, but yeah, just little things I want to talk about with the adapter. Um, I generally will have to turn the camera off and on every time I change a lens, um, which is fine. Um, and then um, I do love the aperturing. And the only thing that I you know have noticed is I can't update it. Um, I can't download the software for Mac. I just can't figure it out. So. If anyone has done this and figured it out, let me know. It's um, 2023 and we're headed into April pretty soon. And so, you know, if anyone has updated it and have been successful, let me know in the comments. But the autofocus system, I think, is pretty much on par with the GF lenses, uh, in my opinion. I've used quite a few of them and, um, you know, it really is kind of lens dependent. A lot of these SLR lenses were are faster to focus. Um, and so I do find more of an advantage with um, EF lenses, so Sigma mainly, and some Canon stuff being a lot quicker. And so, yeah, I think it's really fun. Uh, I'm really impressed with it. And if you're thinking about buying one, I would choose this one over the others, mainly because of the aperturing. Um, all of the GF lenses, for the most part, have aperturings, and it just makes it a lot easier for me to be more intuitive and um, have that on there. The clicks are amazing. Uh, just, I mean, it feels great. It's large. Um, it's just much more intuitive. That way I can have my rear dial set to ISO, my front to shutter, and then there are no more dials on this. So um, you can push the button to change, but I find it a lot quicker and just more natural for me to change it here. So yeah, those are my just quick thoughts on this particular adapter. There are other adapters out there. Uh, but for an uh, EF uh, adapter, I think it's pretty darn amazing. And I've had no uh, issues other than having to turn it on and off when I change lenses, which is kind of on par for some adapters. I've had that in the past. And then the updates. I don't think I need an update at the moment, but in the future I might. And so hopefully I can figure that out at some point. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is helpful. And if you do have this adapter um, or another one, let me know in the comments whether you like it or if you've had any issues. But if you can update this thing, let me know. If I figure out how to update it, I'll make a video on it because uh, I don't know if it's a Mac thing or a safety issue with Mac software, but I just can't figure it out. So cool. Quick video. Thanks for watching and hopefully it's helpful. See you.